Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with the weekly challenge reading. Now this is for everybody. I know that it says Aquarius in the title and uh, throughout the video, but it is actually for everybody. It just seems that uh, either YouTube doesn't push it out or people don't tune in if it doesn't have Aquarius in it. So if you know somebody who would benefit from these weekly challenge videos, go ahead and share them with them. Even though, again, it says Aquarius in the title and within the video, it is actually for everyone. All right. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody. So please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these videos that might not otherwise also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe right down there. Subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? Ooh. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have four today. Okay. All right, let's check it out. Your first one is be a tourist, okay? So um, also before we get into the video, I do wanna remind you all that we do this, I do have a playlist for the weekly challenges. So if you missed any, or if you'd like to go back, or if you're just new to the channel or just new to these, and uh, you can just hit, go to the playlist and look for the weekly challenges and they'll all be in there, okay? Actually, I think this is number 10 or 11. I'm not sure because I spaced it. <laughs> There's been a lot of things going on lately, so I spaced looking for it, but I think it's 10 or 11. So either way, the title will have the number and uh, it will go in the sequence or the right order in the playlist as well. So either 10 or 11 of the weekly challenges here. So your first one is be a tourist. All right. So for this week, I challenge you to be a tourist in your own town. Write down three places you've been meaning to go and explore them. So Sometimes we get used to the day to day or we've lived in our town for so long that we forget that there are places that we have never been, never gone, haven't ever explored. So this week, write down three places that you've been meaning to explore within your own town and then go explore them. It says it's easy to take your town for granted. Remind yourself what a gift it is. All right. And oftentimes we think our town is just those how many ever blocks or the radius or the parameter, whatever it is that we're used to traveling. And we can forget that our, our town is a lot bigger than sometimes we remember or think it is. Okay. Because we get used to just going to the same Walmart or the same, you know, um, hair salon or the same store, right? Whatever it may be, we get used to, or our job, right? The same job, the same, um, relatives or friends houses whatever it is we get used to doing just the same things over and over and so we can forget that there's places that we've never explored even if we were born and raised there or grew up there right there are times where um we will go and get lost is what we call it and we just go and drive and you know one of us will pick left or right or forward and we just go and and explore so maybe that's something for you to do this week to really get out there and see the differences or see things that you've never seen within your own town okay so be a tourist this week be a tourist the next one you have is head up shoulders back Ooh, interesting so let's see this one has a map i always like looking at these little things this one has a map this one has, uh, I'm assuming this is going to have to do with posture. Let's check it out. Pay attention to your posture. Yes. Good job. For 24 hours, stand up straight, keep your shoulders back and don't slouch. Stand and walk with, stand and walk with good posture and watch your self-confidence naturally increase. Now this is super, super true. Um, and if you don't believe it is, experiment with it, right? When we stand up tall, when we have our head held high, instead of looking down or slunched over, we tend to feel better. Okay. We tend to feel better. Chiropractors will ask you whether you like, or go to chiropractors or, or whatever it is or not. Um, there is this energy and or models, right? Whether you're in that scene or not either. But if you stand up tall, hold your head high, you just exude a different type of energy. You feel different on the inside and you look different on the outside. So this one is amazing. Now, something, sometimes it can feel a little bit 
inauthentic when you first start doing this. And it's not because it's inauthentic. It's just because you're not used to it. For those of you that may not uh, practice this regularly, it feels like it uh, sometimes, you know, I've, I've heard people say, and sometimes even for myself, if I've had like slouchy days, it feels like I'm stiff or like I'm like almost trying too hard. But the thing is, is that as you get used to it, you'll generally uh, begin to just uh, kind of adapt or accept it as a habit and start having better posture. But with that, then you start to feel better. And then for some of you, you may even think, oh, why, why am I feeling so good these days? Why am I feeling, you know, so energized and so confident? And you may not even realize that over time, as you've adapted this better posture and holding your head high and shoulders back, right, um, that you have become much more self-confident and, much more, and, and having much more self-esteem due to it. So, you know, pay attention to that. Start out with just 24 hours or 12 hours, whatever it is, and then continue to build up and allow your confidence and your self-esteem to build right up with you or with it. Okay. This is a wonderful, wonderful practice. Very beneficial. Okay. The next one you have is, Hey stranger. Now look, you have a heart in there. We're getting close to Valentine's Day. This is a timeless reading. No matter when you come across it and it resonates with you, it is for you. But at the time of filming, it is the day before Valentine's Day. And look, there's a heart in there. Isn't that so fitting? Okay. Hey stranger. It says, give a compliment to someone you don't know. A small compliment can make someone's day and remind you to compliment yourself too. This is gorgeous at the grocery store, at the gas station, out for a walk. There's always, always, always something you can compliment somebody else on. Even, you know, their shoes, their hairstyle, their hair color, their eye color, uh, their smile, the right, the outfit that they're wearing. There's so many things that we can compliment other people on. And something that uh, also tends to be kind of a byproduct, a positive byproduct, is that when you start to compliment other people, you begin to feel better also because you get warm fillies, but also you begin to notice yourself more and notice how much you um, appreciate and are grateful for yourself, right? It tends to be when we are outside of ourselves and giving in one way or another, compliments being a way of giving, then we tend to uh, kind of give ourselves better give back to ourselves better as well. So um, this one is very beneficial. These are all very beneficial, but um, you know, I don't know if I would go up and be like, hey, stranger, I like your, but maybe some for some that works, right? Um, but compliment someone you don't know and compliment people you do know. Let people know, give a little pat on the back, you know, riz people up and, you know, allow yourself to riz yourself up and allow, open up and be, um, open to receiving compliments as well. Sometimes that's difficult for us as well here, but giving and receiving compliments is a beautiful, beautiful way of um, showing each other, other people and ourselves, just how much it, it's just, to me, it's a form of appreciation and a form of gratitude, right? Um, and, and allowing people to, you know, uh, have kind of a warm fuzzy. I, it's just a beautiful thing that is free, right? A lot of times we're like, oh, it, it doesn't cost you a dang thing to tell somebody else that their shoes are nice or that you like their jacket or whatever. It costs nothing. And then you get the warm fuzzies and so do they, right? All right. Last one here. Stress spelled backward is, what is it? What is it? What is it? We all have heard this, right? It's in the restaurants. It's in the, the delis and right uh, all across the places. The, all across the, the places. And if you haven't seen it, well, here it is. This is your first time. Lucky you. It says, buy yourself dessert. Stress spelled backwards is desserts. Now, obviously, be um, <clears throat> make sure that you're being responsible, right? I guess I have to put that out there. It says, it's okay to take a break and just indulge in what makes you happy. Now, we got to find a, a happy medium. Maybe not overindulge, right? Um, but you can have dessert from time to time. Okay. Stress spelled backwards is dessert. So this is basically saying if you're overstressed, if you are overwhelmed, if you have too much on your plate, um, it's okay to take a break, whether you have a dessert or not during that time, but really focus on your breathing, um, and allow yourself a little bit of time where you can do something that actually makes you happy. Okay. It doesn't have to be eating or desserts, right? Cause we can create defense mechanisms in that way as well. But, 
um, something that lights you up, something that makes you happy, something that feels good for you and in turn assists you in de-stressing or decompressing or right um, allowing some of that stress to melt away and or allowing yourself to go to a, a different place or your mind to go somewhere else your your physical body or your hands to do something else that gets you um, kind of out of that state of being overstressed or overwhelmed or frustrated whatever it may be even for just a little bit so you can take a breath have a little break have a little disconnect and then come back to it kind of with a fresh perspective or fresh eyes okay always always helpful these have always been really good i really like these i'm i'm really gonna i'm doing the dessert thing for sure tomorrow like i said this is timeless but tomorrow is valentine's day and you bet you bet that <laughs> there's gonna be some snacking going on so all right i do intend this resonated with you and for you if it did please do hit the like button and share this video it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise also feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.